Okay, here we are. Talking pumpkin. How to. It's really quite simple. Let me turn on the light so you can see what's going on here. And now I have a soundtrack on my computer which will play through these speakers. This is a thunder and lightning machine. Uh, there are ways you can make these. They're also called color organs, I do believe. Uh, this is just a lot simpler for somebody without electronics background. Uh, you can see here the plug to the light in the pumpkin is plugged into the thunder and lightning machine and whenever it hears sound it makes the light turn on and off. Depending on the volume of the sound the light will flicker or even stay constant with the volume. And now I'll start the uh, soundtrack and then allow everybody to watch it. Welcome to the House of Bad Dreams, forever and always dedicated to the memory of Kathleen McGill Johnson, lover of animals, children, and all things Halloween. Halloween Dreams Halloween, the night on which the cute kitten becomes the witch's cat. Halloween, the night when the loving mother becomes the monster that wasn't. Halloween, the night when the loyal dog becomes the rabbit and the wolf. Halloween, the night when the kindly old grandmother becomes the witch casting spells. Halloween, the night the house next door becomes haunted. Halloween, the night the sheet on your bed becomes the ghost in the corner. Halloween, the night on which fright becomes delight. Halloween, the night for fun. Halloween, the night for dreamers. The scariest thing. Some things are scary, others are not. Like ghosts and goblins and things that rot. Cats and dogs are not scary at all. All they do is play chase and catch a ball. But the scariest thing creeps around at night, looking for victims to scratch and bite. It hides its face, it's too ugly to see. It rules all the monsters, both tall and wee. Those who've seen his face their eyes burst and bleed. They beg for mercy. Spare us, spare us, they plead. But he's not a giver. He takes what he finds. All sorts of people, both sightseers and blind. You've got the picture that he is the king of everything scary, every little scary thing. So watch out at night, cause if by him you're seen, he'll give you an evil grin and say, Happy Halloween! The House of Bad Dreams. All year round, it's just a house on any street. But come October, you're in for a treat. In October, the yard sprouts tombs for the dead. By a week's end, there's no more dread. Then the spiders come and weave their web. They snare victims, so the spiders are all well fed. The spirits from the tombs soon rise, ghosts to scare and surprise. The house itself seems to breathe, or is it just a passing breeze? The trees in the yard all seem to age and rot, throwing faces where there should be a knot. The ground begins to turn and roll, as the skeletons come out for a stroll. Coffins rise from burial mounds. The dead dance about the grounds. Pumpkins soon sprout in every corner, becoming Jack the undead mourner. Fog rolls in from the ether. The lone maid screams as the ground erupts beneath her. 
The demons laugh and dance as the nights grow cold. The house of bad dreams comes to life to frighten and delight young and old. For just one night each year, this house, unlike any other, becomes a home for ghouls, ghosts, zombies, and many a other. On Halloween, at the final strike of midnight, just one last wail from ghosts so pale. Happy Halloween to all, and to all a good fright. And there you have it. I'm afraid that the, uh, digital camera I use to film these things does not do this any justice. It's a simple little trick that just about anybody can do for Halloween. Uh, I hope you all had fun and learned a little from this tutorial. Good night. <laughs>